Hi, I'm Wouter from Triply, and this is episode 7 of my Sparkle tutorial. In the previous episode, we introduced various abbreviations for IRI terms, and in this episode, I want to continue introducing more abbreviations. But the abbreviations that I will cover in this video are about uh, group patterns. We introduced group patterns in episode 5. And a group pattern is a sequence of triple patterns. And triple patterns were introduced in episode 3. A group patterns are very common in Sparkle queries, so abbreviating them a little bit will definitely matter in the long run when we will be writing lengthier and lengthier Sparkle queries. Now, a good way to get started with introducing these group pattern abbreviations is by looking into the same query that we touched last time. So that's this one. And as you can see, uh, this is the group pattern of this query, and it consists of eight triple patterns. Now, what you can see is that this, uh, this variable, Pokemon, is repeated quite often. It's repeated, it's introduced once, and then it's repeated five more times. So, there is an abbreviation in this group pattern notation, which allows you to remove all of these non-first mentions of the subject term, in this case, the variable Pokemon. Until now, we've used the dot to indicate the end of a triple pattern, and this is exactly also what the dot means in Sparkle. So it indicates that a subject predicate object sequence, or a triple, comes to an end. However, there are two other end of triple indicators that you can use within the context of group patterns. So, if you want to leave out this subject term, this uh, last Pokemon uh, subject term, that's possible if you also replace the previous end of triple character with a semicolon. And as you can see, the editor already indicates that this is valid syntactically. Now, if I can do this for one variable, I can do it for all of the non-first subject terms. So let's do that. Like that. So this already makes the, the notation a little bit briefer. Um, I have another occurrence of it down here. So let's also do the same thing for the type subject term. Like this. Now there is one more occurrence in this query where we see a little bit of repetition. And that is occurring right here in the predicate term type. So not only is the subject term in the previous, in the original query was the subject term repeated quite often. Also, the predicate term is at least repeated once. And also, this re repetition can be removed by introducing the third way in which you can end a triple, uh, a triple pattern. And that's with a comma character. So, let's go in here. And let's remove the second occurrence of the repeated predicate. And we can do that as long as we introduce a comma in the previous triple pattern. So we end the previous triple pattern with a comma now. Now it becomes really brief, so I might even choose to put these two things on one line. So this then becomes our query. Let me briefly put those three syntax notations in a, in a small table to give you a little bit of an overview. So you have the dot, the semicolon and the comma. And I've also copied over the notation, the official uh, notation terminology uh, from the Sparkle standard. So a dot is set to end a simple triple, and then the semicolon and the comma are called predicate list notation and object list notation. Now, why are they called that way? I think object list notation is still quite intuitive because you can basically, the comma basically allows you to uh, write down a list a comma separated list of object terms. Now the same thing conceptually speaking is of course also true for the predicate list, but then you have uh, a semicolon separated sequence of predicates and objects or object lists. I always find the, no the name uh, predicate list a little bit confusing, so it's, it's not to be interpreted as you have a list of only predicates. Now you have a list of predicate object pairs where the object itself can be an object list. So that's a little bit difficult terminologically, but in terms of the, the example query, I hope that it's clear how these three characters can be used to, to terminate uh, triple patterns in such a way that the whole group pattern becomes as concise as possible. 
Okay, this was a very short episode. I want to do one more episode on introducing um, yet another set of abbreviations. And the reason why I'm putting this many uh, episodes on abbreviations relatively early into the Sparkle tutorial is because I want to use these abbreviations consistently throughout the rest of the tutorial. Sparkle queries will become quite complex, so we can use all the abbreviations and simplifications um, uh, that, we, that we can get from the standard. So join me next time when we look into uh, the, last, the third and last episode on introducing abbreviations.